In the vast, dark void of space, there is nothing to transmit sound. So even the most powerful, in fact, cosmic scale explosions cannot be heard. However, it is more than possible to see, especially when it comes to the explosion of an entire star. But what do the armpits of the sky hunter, red giants, or humorously horrible timber in movies have to do with all that? Most directly, because it also hints at the name of the star, the closest candidate for the role of a supernova, the scale of which has not yet been near us in space. The life of Betelgeuse, the brightest red star from the constellation Orion, is apparently entering its final stage. In the constellation, it is located as if in the shoulder area of the conditional figure of the heavenly hunter Orion. Actually, thanks to the position of Betelgeuse, it got its name. According to one version, the word comes from the Arabic equivalent of the word armpit. The adjacent word shoulder is also often used. By the way, the pronunciation of Betelgeuse in English corresponds to the name of one of the main characters of the movie Betelgeuse. This, as well as the change of letters to convey the same sound, is a direct reference to Betelgeuse and the original idea of the screenwriter. So, let's find out what Betelgeuse is and why everyone is talking about it and how ready it is to explode. What exactly is Betelgeuse? Betelgeuse is the main star of the constellation Orion, and it is also referred to as Alpha Orion. It is clearly visible to the naked eye due to its bright red luster. In the astronomical classification, Betelgeuse is a red supergiant. The star is twice as old as our sun, 17 times heavier, and 650 times larger. It is located 642 light years from our planet. For the science fiction fans out there, it is 197 parsecs. In terms of astronomical distances, Betelgeuse is one of the closest stars to the solar system. Not surprisingly, humanity has been observing it since antiquity. This allows us to study the development of stars almost in real time. Except for the fact that Betelgeuse's light takes 650 years to leave the surface of the star and reach the sensitive elements of our telescopes. And for this metaphor, it really doesn't matter that modern equipment actually detects dozens of other types of radiation. But it was the good visibility and the rich history of observations that caused the information wave that rose around Betelgeuse in late 2019, early 2020. Where did all the noise come from? Increased attention to Betelgeuse at that time was more than justified because the star literally blew the roof off. A piece of the star weighing several of our moons was sprayed into a cloud of stardust with a diameter of a million miles. Astrophysicists are continuing observations, counting on the new James Webb Space Telescope, which will apparently be able to record the further spread of stellar matter. Due to the loss of a significant mass of matter and an obstacle in the form of a cloud, Betelgeuse almost faded for some time. A significant change in brightness was noticeable even with the naked eye. Even now the star has not yet fully recovered. It is logical to assume that this is the beginning of the end. But no, the star is still alive. And, according to astrophysicists, it will not disappear in the next 100,000 years. The image of a ball of boiling water will help to imagine the process. At some point, a bubble so large was born inside that when it reached the surface, it caused a significant surge. This also happens on our sun. Remember sunspots and all the associated mystifications? Only emissions of such a scale have never happened on our star. Now, let's slow down the boiling to bring the time frame to cosmic scales. The explosion and spraying of drops of boiling water, with its consequences, was observed for almost a year. In fact, the consequences are still visible. The current state of Betelgeuse. Interestingly, significant emissions of matter may indicate an approaching change in the life cycle of the star. The reactions inside its body slow down, 
our ball of boiling water begins to cool. Although, according to astrophysicist Andrea Dupree of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, Betelgeuse is doing strange things now. The matter inside the star is wobbling. This does not indicate a possible explosion in the near future. Thanks to the data from the Hubble Telescope, the Stella Robotic Observatory, the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory, and other sources, Dupree and his colleagues have received a lot of completely new information about the evolution of stars. One of the consequences of the massive explosion was a change in the rhythm of the star's pulsation. For the first time in 200 years of observation, the usual 400-day rhythm of changes in the brightness of Betelgeuse was broken. The light envelope of the star, the photosphere, has been restored, but the circles on the surface of the star are still diverging, disturbing the rhythm. What will happen to us if the star explodes? Of course, a supernova explosion and so close to our cozy solar system sounds very threatening. But in fact, the danger zone is about 50 light years around a star. We are more than 10 times further away than necessary to suffer any significant damage. But any possible life in that radius will be destroyed. Not only, and not so much due to direct damage by the remnants of the star's body, or an indescribable amount of light radiation. The most important factor of damage is radiation. To be more precise, gamma rays. Any living organism will be literally scattered into atoms by directed streams of electrons. If Betelgeuse were in our system, its edge would reach the orbits of Jupiter. That is, the Earth would not only be absorbed, but could not be formed. However, even if humanity existed somewhere on the outskirts of the Alpha Orion star system, we would have no chance to escape. It is unlikely that spacecraft could gain the speed necessary to escape from the radiation. Although the idea of escaping from a dying star is a good basis for a science fiction story. The Last Show of Betelgeuse The inhabitants of the Earth in 100,000 years or at some other time when Betelgeuse does decide to interrupt his existence in the format of a red supergiant, will be absolutely amazed. But only by the spectacle that will unfold in the sky. And it will concern not only astrophysicists, astronomers, and alarmists. A pair of students from the University of California, Jared Goldberg and Evan Bauer, under the guidance of astronomer Andy Howell, have developed a model of the phenomena associated with the explosion of a supernova, which can be observed on Earth. The research used special software, data from previous supernova observations, and many assumptions. Therefore, the researchers emphasize that the actual events may differ significantly from the predictions, which sounds logical. The show will be available to everyone. Within a year after the explosion, Betelgeuse will be visible in the sky even during the day. During the first three or four months after the explosion, the brightness of Betelgeuse will be almost equal to the brightness of the full moon. I wonder how many landscapes will appear in the light of the dead star, and will they remain in history, like the paintings of Munch, who was inspired by the eruption of Krakatoa. The presence, however brief, of another such bright luminary in the sky can disrupt the migration routes of some animal species. Some species use the moon as a guide. In addition, astrophysicists will experience significant limitations in observations. They already have problems during the full moon, so one can only imagine the difficulties that will arise during three months without sufficiently dark nights. In addition, all the most modern and sensitive equipment is not designed to register such strong radiation. So most space telescopes will be blinded for some time, unless, of course, they are modified. In about two years, the night glow of Betelgeuse will briefly return to normal levels, and then it will begin to diminish until the star disappears altogether. It may sound sad, but in fact nothing appears from nothing and does not disappear into nowhere. Judging by the available observations, Betelgeuse-sized stars often turn into black holes. That is, scientists will have something to observe 
and everyone else will get another wonderful romantic story to enchant the ears while admiring the starry sky. By the way, it is unlikely to miss the whole show lasting several years. Most likely, you will even be able to get to the very beginning. Modern equipment will detect neutrinos and gravitational waves caused by Betelgeuse at least a day before the actual start. So, Red Betelgeuse is indeed entering the final stage of its life. But it is a star, and this stage can last for a very long time. And even if it does not, the planet and humanity will face only a breathtaking spectacle and moderate discomfort when a dead star will shine through the window at night. Astronomers and astrophysicists, in turn, will not stop watching it, because Betelgeuse is one of the closest stars, and it allows us to obtain an invaluable amount of data that has become the key to answers to many scientific questions.